In the name of Allah. Hello friends. Jordan is considered one of the popular tourist destinations. Among Arab countries because of its unique ancient monuments. Jordan is bordered by Syria, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Palestine. This country is located in the heart and center of the Middle East and compared to other neighboring countries, it has freedom, security, and is progressing. Because of these unique features, tourists who want to travel and explore the Middle East can visit this region. By traveling to Jordan, you can see the world's ancient cities up close, visit granite cliffs, remote and secluded deserts, and swim in the famous Dead Sea. We introduce the top and popular tourist places in Jordan below. Madaba City The city of Madaba is located in the southwestern part of Jordan and is a small, peaceful area, full of rich history and religious structures and ancient art. The city is known for having the Madaba map, a 6th century mosaic map that shows the Holy Land, Jerusalem, and other holy places. The famous map of Madaba was discovered in the Church of St. George Jordan. If you are interested in learning about the history and culture of Madaba, you can visit the Madaba Archaeological Park and the Madaba Museum. Above the shrine of Saint John the Baptist, there are rocks and a bell-shaped tower. By climbing a height, you can see the magnificent scenery of Madava at a glance. Dana Nature Reserve You can choose Dana Conservation Area for views, sightseeing, and hiking in Jordan. This area is one of the most important tourist attractions in Jordan. Dana village dates back to the 15th century AD, which has preserved its originality and past culture despite the passage of years. By visiting the ancient area, you will find few facilities for accommodation and dining and you can get to know this old culture closely. By visiting the protected area of Dana, you can walk in this protected valley and climb or move towards the valley through the long and narrow valleys on both sides of which are high rocks. The landscape of this area is extremely beautiful and pristine which has many memorable views and you will have the opportunity to take special and different photos in this area. Aqaba City Aqaba City is the only coastal and port city in Jordan and is also considered one of the oldest cities in the world. This city is often called the gate and window to the Red Sea, and it was considered one of the important destinations of Jordan for a long time. In this city, modern and old culture can be seen side by side, and the age 
of the city allows you to visit the ancient buildings and visit the Aqaba Castle, which belongs to the 14th century, by participating in Tourist Tours Tourists can stay in unique and luxurious 5-star hotels that are world famous. The old name of the city was Isla and today there is a small area with this name, in Isla you can see a small ancient building that dates back to the 6th century and is well protected from damage. There are many beach resorts for the enjoyable experience of diving and diving training in the Red Sea, which brings happy moments for tourists. By walking in the southern parts of Aqaba, you can also watch the tall buildings of Palestine from afar. Al Karak City Tourists who are very interested in watching castles, it is better to visit the city of Kirk. The city of El Kirk, which is also called Kirk or Kirk, is located in the southern part of Jordan. In this city, many Christians live next to Muslims and there are amazing castles all over the city. The old castle of Kirk, which was a strong place during the Crusades, is located in the city. After being looted by Christians, this ancient castle remained abandoned for almost 500 years. Today, parts of the castle have been restored and tourists can visit these parts with a tour. In the southern part of the castle, the Museum of Archaeology of Kirk is located, which has huge ancient collections and provides useful information about the history of this area to tourists. Amman City The city of Amman or Amman is the capital of Jordan and is also the largest city and cultural and economic center of this country. When traveling to Jordan, Tourists spend some time in this city. There are many Roman remains in this city, the most important of which are the Great Roman Amphitheater and the Nymphium or the Mustache of the Hurriyat, which is the ancient Roman fountain. The large castle of the city is one of the most important attractions of Amman, and in this area there are important local structures, such as the Roman Temple of Hercules and the large Umayyad Stone Palace, which you should not miss the opportunity to visit. This palace is located above the city, and during the call to prayer, you can watch the lively face of the city. Desert Castles The deserts of the eastern part of Jordan, in the eastern part of the city of Amman, are a good place to watch and explore a series of castles. These castles were built by the Umayyad government and were used for defense during wars, and some were the residences of the caliphs. Living and commuting in these vast deserts is difficult and the presence of these castles made it possible for the Umayyads to live in this area. 
While crossing this desert, you will see countless castles. By continuing the circle of existing castles, you can see the black stone, the mosaics of Halabat Palace, the archaeological site of Hammam Sara Palace, and the amazing paintings of Amra Palace. Dead Sea, Salt Lake Jordan is landlocked and has a small water border. After the city of Aqaba, this country has a small beach by the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the lowest and lowest point on Earth, 430 meters, 1,400 feet below sea level and has extremely high salinity levels. There are many historical and religious monuments in this area, and Jesus Christ was baptized in the water of this lake by Saint John. The Baptizer of Saint John The water of the lake is full of minerals and it is an environment for getting peace. Due to excessive salinity, you can easily float on water. To take advantage of the excellent services by this lake, it is better to stay at one of the luxury hotels and resorts at the northeastern end of the lake and enjoy spa and beauty services, watch the sunset over the lake, and also at night. In this area you can see the night lights of Jerusalem. Many tourists travel to this beach to take advantage of the useful services of the lake. Jewish City when it comes to Roman remains and ruins, most people imagine European tourist destinations, while the ancient city of Jerush houses a large collection of Greek and Roman ruins. By traveling to this wonderful historical city, you can see Hadrian's Citadel which is the oldest remaining citadel in the city of Jerush, dating back to the 2nd century AD. And don't forget to visit the Hippodrome. The Hippodrome was the arena for horse racing and chariot racing, and is the smallest arena built by the Romans. It is Better to explore and research the city at the Jewish Archaeological Museum, which presents a unique collection of handicrafts to tourists and explains to visitors how the city of Jewish was formed and developed over the past centuries. Wadi Rum Wadi Rum is located in the southern part of Jordan, a desert valley that is world famous for its amazing landscapes. There are no accommodation facilities in this remote area and only Bedouin natives and nomadic tribes stay on this route for a short time and pass through this area. You will often see deserts like small hills. In Wadi Rum, sandstone mountains and tall granite rocks have formed. Many of the main attractions in Wadi Rum area are natural. And you can see the beautiful structure of stones and colors in this area. 
It is better to visit a smaller stone mountain called Emprud, which has a different structure. The red-orange colors seen on the surface of the Earth make this part of another planet and science. Fiction movies such as The Martians have been made in this area. Also, many parts of the famous film Lawrence of Arabia were made in Wadi Rum, and you can visit Lawrence's house, which is also known as Lawrence Bagler. Petra City The best and top tourist attraction in Jordan is the ancient city of Petra and today it is considered one of the new seven wonders of the world. This city is also known as Red City or Rose City. Once upon a time, the city of Petra was the capital of the Nabataean government before it was captured by the Romans. This city was abandoned and forgotten during the past centuries and was rediscovered in the 19th century. Visit the Petra Archaeological Park. By passing through the sandstone valleys known as Sig. After digging, you will find one of the precious jewels, which is probably a temple or a royal tomb. The Roman amphitheater, the monastery, and the beautiful views of the streets, a large valley covered with tombs, are among the other important tourist attractions of the city. For more magnificent views, head to Mount Aaron to view the magnificent stone architecture of Petra from above the city.